Hello, this is Lisa Phillips, and today is the um, group uh, elicitation technique I'm going to go over, according to the VABAC guide, is requirements workshops and how they can be very effective. I personally like them, they're very easy, they make sense, um, and they can be used from the beginning and throughout. They were used at the very beginning to get um, use cases. Uh, where are you now? Where would you like to be? What's causing the problem? Where are the pains coming from? And you want to uh, make sure you identify the participants rather well. You know, this initial one will be with, um, you know, project sponsors uh, who was delegated the job of doing this um, improvement um, that, they're, that we're working on um, and also who they think are the key stakeholders um, and subject matter experts, the people actually doing the work, not necessarily managing um, the project and um, it's really great for getting the uh, requirements out then but if you use it throughout if there's a couple of requirements that you're getting into it's also great to get closure and consensus so if there's something that's up in the air having all those experts in the room to talk about that one particular issue can give you the closure on whether or not that's going to go forward or not as part of the project scope and so in general um, uh, you know, you go in, you clarify the purpose of the project, you organize it, you are the facilitator. The only issue is, is that um, it's hard to get the everybody in the room together. Everyone has a very busy schedule and you're trying to get them all coordinated. So they have to pack a bang for your butt to have that many subject matter experts and different people in the business in one room. So, you know, once you get them in that room, you need to be prepared with um, where you're going to go, what you're trying to get out of it, and be very organized because you don't get necessarily two or three shots to do this once. So just keep that in mind. Once you get them, you make sure it's ultimately effective and you get exactly what you um, plan to get out when you go forward. So usually it can be anywhere from, you know, six to eight people that you invite targeted with, this, you know, people who do the work, people who manage the work, people who need to be informed, and any stakeholders that would like to take place to give their input on where this wants to go. So thank you again for letting me um, go over the requirements workshops and how they function and flow. I uh, appreciate all the uh, viewers who are signing in. So thank you very much.